My wife has been rocking Rothy shoes for years now, but how do the new men's shoes live up to the woman's shoe with a cult-like following? We bought a pair of the new men's Rothy's and put them to the test. You know what? You might be surprised at the results. Watch on. Hello and welcome back to We Tried It. We are trying a new pair of Rothy's today. And you may say, wait, you're a dude and you're trying out Rothy's? Yes, I am. Because, dun dun dun, dun I'd like you to meet the new pair of Rothy's shoes. They are not women's shoes. These are my wife's shoes. These are the new men's RS01 sneaker. And they are a brand new shoe for Rothy's that is geared just for men. And they're an interesting shoe. Now, I've talked a lot on this blog before about how I love white shoes that can be washable. And these can be washable too. Uh, these are my wife's pair of Rothy's here. They're the closest that she had that look like this. But the interesting and cool thing about Rothy's is they make their shoe with this recycled knit um, from actually recycled water bottles, which is crazy cool. They can even do that. But it's got that very similar material here as here and, and really what made Rothy's so popular. So let's talk about the RS1 here for just a second. The first thing that you'll notice about the RS1 when you pick it up is just how stinking heavy they are. I will admit, I've been super spoiled with shoes like Sovs that weigh next to nothing. And I've been really spoiled by Allbirds. Now, one of the first things you'll notice about these shoes besides the weight is the price. These are 175 bucks both the Sov shoes and this is the Allbirds Tree Piper, 95 bucks. You can almost buy one of each of these pairs for the price of one of these pairs. Now, I know I talked about the weight here in just a second, but the Rothy's Men's RS01 shoe weighs about twice as much as these shoes. Now, even in dress shoes, I've had the honor of being able to try some really cool shoes like Cole Haan Zero Grand and Amberjack, and they don't even weigh as much as these shoes. That's why I was so surprised when I took these out of the box. I literally was like, whoa, was there like weights or something in here? Like, there's not. These are literally about twice the weight of these. So why are they heavier? Well, they're heavier for a couple of reasons. One, they've got a much thicker, denser sole. They've got some interesting stitching that, you know, I'm not sure I love the style of like these different stitches here. I like the really clean style. It's a little bit less clean, obviously, on the Saab shoe. But, man, they're okay looking, I, but I don't love the way they look. Um, they also have got some interesting, unique padding that some of these shoes don't have. Like, there's some, a lot of extra padding right here, if you can see. The sole, I actually thought the sole was really comfortable. It's almost like a moleskin type sole, which I thought was really nice. But just like the Saabs and the Allbirds, these Rothy's, our machine wash. I, every time I pick them up, I'm like, oh my gosh, why are these so stinking heavy? Um, you can wear these with socks or without socks. They are really a decent looking shoe. They have a couple of different colors. If I was to do this again, I probably would have got the one that has more of a gum color like this just to have a little more contrast. It does have a little blue stripe there on the back to let you know that's Rothy's. All of Rothy's shoes have a little bit of a blue line on it in some way. Like here's my wife's shoes, they've got this blue on the back there. But these shoes are even lighter than these shoes. It's pretty good. They're actually just about the same weight as, as these. But you know what? I think really the only shoe I would maybe choose the Rothy's over is this all Verkabel Low One. As I mentioned in the video review for the Tree Piper here, I love I love this shoe. It's beautiful. It's well made. I just can never wear it because I'm afraid I'm going to get it dirty. Um, but maybe if you're, they're about the same price. Maybe if you're in that same like $175, $150 market and you want a pair of white shoes, maybe look at these. But um, otherwise, I'm not really sure I can recommend these over the Tree Pipers or the Tree Skipper, which I also love, or even the Sobs. These are obviously a much hardier shoe. You know, I've worn Allbirds for years without any problems, especially the tree fabric. 
This is once again a recycled plastic fabric, which is a little bit unique, a little bit different than these other ones. This is actually also made from recycled plastic as well. Um, I do feel like this is a sturdier shoe. If you don't feel like all birds or sobs are quite as sturdy as a normal tennis shoe, then maybe check these out. But otherwise, I love a lot of stuff that Rothy stands for. I love what they do with their product. I was made from recycled plastic water bottles. My wife loves their product. She's told me to apologize. These weren't 100% clean. I just grabbed them off the, the rack. But having a two-year-old and a four-year-old, you definitely want to make sure that you can wash your shoes, especially if they're going to be white. But that's what I have to say about the Rothy's RS01. They've got a couple of different styles. This is the one I thought I was most likely to like. But once again, don't super care for the, the look of it, which is a little more simple. And I just, the weight, I'm just spoiled, man. To me, weight equals comfort in a lot of ways. I know that's not 100% right, but that's just the way I feel. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Did you like this video? Make sure you give it a thumbs up. Make sure you hit subscribe, and we hope to see you again real soon.